Essex, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here with today's Three Minute Thursday. Today I'm going to take a couple of minutes to show you how to get a tractor unstuck from the mud using your backhoe. So I was out doing a little bit of work and saw an opportunity to do a cool video. I came out of here and intentionally got this tractor stuck in the mud. Now you know it's only because I'm too good of an operator to get stuck for real. Tongue in cheek joke there. <laughs> There's a couple steps that you can go through here to try to get the tractor unstuck, some things that anybody can do who doesn't have a backhoe, um, but then also a really easy way to get yourself out of the mud if you do happen to have the hoe. So first things first, if you're stuck in the mud like this, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is rock the tractor back and forth a little bit and see if you can break it free. Now, if you get past that point, it's pretty easy to get stuck at that point. The next thing you're going to want to try is your diff lock. Now, the diff lock is located on every tractor, for the most part, on the heel of your left foot. Now, you want to be mindful when you go and engage that diff lock that you don't do it while your wheels are spinning. What a differential does is it allows one, spin, one wheel to spin while the other wheel is still. And if you're sitting in the mud, you're gonna see that happen immediately. One wheel's gonna have traction and the other one won't. The one will just sit there and freewheel. When you step on that diff lock, it slides a pin through that sliding differential. And so the, what you don't want to happen is for that diff to be spinning and then have that pin slide into it while you have all of that inertia and shear the pin off. So the very first thing you wanna do when you use that differential is stop the wheels from spinning, step down on the diff with your heel, and then back up. And hopefully that action then can get three of your four wheels pulling and get you out of the mud. If you get beyond that point, you're gonna do this next trick here that I've got with the backhoe. And this area that I'm working is really sloppy and I've gotten actually several pieces of equipment stuck out here now. And fortunately, every one of them, I've been able to get unstuck using the backhoe. Um, in this case, it's been a BX that I got stuck and also an excavator as well. The neat thing that you can do with the backhoe is simply using the hoe to pull yourself out of the mud. So if you reach back with the hoe, roll your teeth out and just set this thing down in the ground just a little bit, you can then curl it back in in order to pull the machine out. So you'll see here, I'm not going anywhere. My wheels are spinning. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and use my diff lock. And even with the diff on, not going anywhere. They're packed full of mud, okay? So now we're gonna take our back hose, set our teeth down in the ground, and hit the reverse pedal while pulling back in. And you can see here, I'm starting to dig. But while driving backwards and curling the backhoe, at the same time, you could just use this to creep yourself. Right out of the ground. You can see I did a little bit of digging there. Well, I'm still not quite out yet. Now the 
thing you want to watch as you do this, as you're going back and forth, is you are going to lift the rear end of the tractor up. So one thing you want to remember as you're using the backhoe to pull yourself backwards is that all of your backhoe functions are going to move in an arc. So if you go and you get those teeth down on the ground, when you pull back in towards the tractor, you're going to be lifting the back end of the tractor at the same time. So you want to have your four-wheel drive on so that your front tires are pulling you backwards. But also remember that you're going to end up picking the back end of the tractor up with the dipper while you're doing that, potentially making the machine a little bit unstable. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to go and put your outriggers down, say just an inch or two off the ground to catch you if the tractor happens to roll left or right. When I do it, I usually only just stick the teeth of the bucket down into the ground so that as I come back in that arc, I'm only maybe going to pick the tractor a couple of inches up off the ground, not very much. But when I first started doing this, I, did, <laughs> I do it a lot, um, I definitely found that I was getting the tractor higher and a little bit more unstable than what I was really feeling comfortable with and ended up then having to use other backhoe functions in order to kind of set the machine back down again. So kind of a cool trick to remember. Uh, backhoes are, you know, obviously useful for trenching and that kind of thing, but I've found them useful tools to get myself unstuck from the mud on several occasions. So if you have any... Uh, tractor shopping that you're doing and we can help or if you have parts or service needs for machines that you've already got give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at Messix.com.